We are going behind the lens with Vic Carter, a special project you've been working on, the Adnan Syed case. Yes. 20 years in the making. This has been a controversial public story. Mm -hmm. Talk to us a little bit about what's happening now, what you learned sitting down with the family recently. Well, uh, the, the family obviously is still very much distraught. Mm -hmm. When we started our interview, as soon as I mentioned her name, his name rather, I'm not saying it's name, his mother broke down in tears. Mm -hmm. And she oh, was angry. so emotional throughout this entire interview. Mm -hmm. um, missing her son, uh, feeling as if he was wrongly convicted, and uh, the blows that have been dealt to them by the court system uh, of having an emotional roller coaster at one time. Um, the possibility of uh, a new trial being granted by two lower courts and then the Maryland Court of Appeals deciding that no. Mm -hmm. By a very narrow margin, a four to three vote, mm -hmm. they decided not to grant a new trial. So the only place for them to go now is the U.S. Supreme Court and the attorney, Justin Brown, uh, is working on that right now. Uh, he has 90 days from the time that this uh, ruling uh, was presented to actually petition the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, and that in and of itself is a long shot. Mm -hmm. As you know, the Supreme Court has thousands of cases that come before it. And, um, you know, it's a long shot for that to even be considered for them to even uh, to to hear the case. And so uh, now it's all in the hands of the U.S. Supreme Court and what the justices are able, what the uh, attorneys are able to come up with. Knowing that, the family knowing that information, the attorney knowing that information, what did you sense they want from this go round? The thing they want most is for all of the evidence that they feel either was mishandled mm -hmm. or not presented to come to light. And we've heard about it, but not, not before the U.S. Supreme Court, obviously. Right. And so uh, the threshold in other states is that when that type of information is presented, another trial is granted. Uh, but for some reason, the state of Maryland has decided not to. I don't want to go too far without saying this. A child lost her life. Yes. Heyman Lee died. Yes. She shouldn't have died. She was a high school student. Right. And so uh, we don't want to uh, minimize the pain that her family is, is feeling sure. right now, too, because they, uh, too, want to see justice done. Mm -hmm. They feel as if it's already happened. And um, the family of Adnan Syed also feels as if that their, fam their son was wrongly convicted. So they want to see uh, a new trial come up. And they also want to see some solace for the family of Heyman Lee. Two families affected by this. And mm -hmm. a lot will come out from this run at the Supreme Court. So I know you'll have more updates for us. And you can visit mm -hmm. us here on WJZ.com follow the story. Absolutely. Thanks for talking to Thank us. Thank you. Today. My pleasure.